and as any good artist knows, you gotta put a nice dynamic shape behind your characters to make them stand out. So I did that here, just for kicks and giggles. But I actually <laughs> really enjoyed the way it turned out. It's kind of the psych green anyway, so. And there they are. And uh, if you caught my 7 of 9 video, what I did was make you uh, guess and put the uh, duos at the end. And I kind of did that here too, but I don't think these styles are going to be that hard to guess. And I think just from the hats here, you could probably guess this first duo. So what I did to make each one kind of stand out is stylize them a little bit more. For instance, since this is obviously... Sherlock and Watson. I decided to do some cross hatching like a uh, 18th century lithogram, and I kind of just gave the impression of it. I didn't do the whole thing like that because I did want it to have some color. So just kind of put the details of their outfits and faces in with the cross hatching, and then, as you'll see in a minute, really went at it with the colored pencils and markers. On the second style here, I really didn't have much to change on the first character, uh, but I chose them for any of you diehard psych fans. I think you'll know the uh, house of these two was my inspiration. So it's hard to change SpongeBob up much to uh, make him look like Sean other than having him do the patented pose. But I definitely wanted one or two with a uh, pineapple in it, and this is the first one here. Also, uh, I changed Patrick up a little bit. He is obviously not purple in SpongeBob. Uh, that's a little Easter egg for you uh, hardcore psych fans. And I'm not going to tell you why he's purple. I uh, kind of want to see if you can maybe figure that out and drop a comment if you think you know why I made Patrick purple. In this third style, I uh, wanted to highlight the blueberry, which is the car that they drive around in and uh, I didn't have much space in the size of the squares I gave myself here so most of it is obscured but I think the characters let you know what it's supposed to be anyway but yeah I think I might dedicate a picture to uh, making the blueberry an actual Batmobile unfortunately I didn't realize my camera had stopped recording there so Lost a little bit of the inking, but figured it out before I got too much further. Alright, this duo was actually a lot of fun. I had fun with this one. Uh, did it in a very comic booky style, but I did like switching their roles up a little bit. It seemed fitting. A very Sean and Gus thing to do. Uh, I didn't really make either one of them completely. It's more like a cosplay if they went to a Comic Con or something as these two, rather than making them the actual characters. But I like how it turned out. I think it's very fitting to the psych feel of things. This is also where I started to kind of give them a story, you know, more than just, hey, these guys are this, you know, you can kind of see the argument they had before they put on their costumes and who kind of won, in this case, 
I would say yes. I kind of kept going with the uh, story theme for this fifth duo. Uh, be pretty obvious who they are from their helmets, but if you look a little close, you can kind of see that uh, they aren't wearing the right costume. And uh, at first, I thought that was a mistake, and it was because I put the wrong costume on Sean. And uh, as I went, I thought, you know what? This fits because these guys are always arguing, always having their. So it turned into a story where they couldn't decide who got to be who, so they fought over the helmets and ended up switching helmets somewhere along the way. And it just, you know, again, felt like a very Sean and Gus moment to me. So I liked it, you know. You kind of come up with these stories when you're sitting here doodling all on your own, so that's the story that came with this one. I don't know why it suddenly decided that my camera was going to flicker. didn't really change any settings, so I'll have to figure out why it's doing that, because it annoys me too. So I apologize to anybody who hates that flicker. And since this paper is a bit smaller and I made the squares smaller to make it a little more dynamic, I only had one more duo to do. And again, I kind of really liked the blueberry and hadn't really featured it. So I made this duo kind of without the characters, just the car. But I still think you know what duo they are. If you're a fan of the show and a fan of 80s cinemas, they are. It's a pretty famous scene from an 80s movie. I, I just, it kind of came to me as I drew the blueberry as the Batmobile. I'm like, I got another one for the blueberry, so it became this one. And uh, I actually like the way this one turned out better than most. And yep, it's obviously uh, Thumb and Louise driving off at the end. And there you have it six dynamic duo changes of Sean and Gus as six other teams. As, uh, I had a lot of fun with this one, so probably do more. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content.